I have some stunning video for you today. This is a literal deplatforming. Someone was pushed off of the platform from which they were speaking, a, a literal platform, a stage. I'm talking about a father, Marcelo Rossi, preaching at uh, a retreat in Sao Paulo, Brazil. He is an extremely anti gay priest, very, very homophobic. A couple of examples back in 1998, he said, quote, a lot of ideas will change the day homosexuality is proven to be an illness. In 2014, he said, quote, sex between men causes pain. If something causes pain, it can't be a good thing. Interesting. I wonder if he would apply that to aerobic exercise as well, or if maybe there's a different standard applied there. So in any case, Marcelo Rossi is preaching and the initial this is an important thing to mention. The initial reports about this were that he was preaching about how fat women don't go to heaven at the moment that a woman ran on stage and pushed him off. We've since learned that that appears not to be the case. I'm going to play the video here for you. You will see a woman run on stage and shove him off. This is the mother of a three year old that was at the retreat. And it appears that this is really a case uh, of someone suffering from mental health issues. Let's take a look. Não é mais minha. E essas mãos não mais me pertencem. Pecadoras, fracas, mas essas mãos pertencem a Jesus. Tanto que o sacerdote já age na pessoa de Cristo. Para servir, para abençoar. So again, the controversy was that it was initially claimed that the, the the priest was preaching about how fat women can't go to heaven at the time that the woman ran on stage and pushed him off. The implication was it was a direct response to the vile nature of what he was saying. Uh, it appears that that was not the case. He was reportedly preaching about how his hands belong to Jesus, which uh, may be just as kooky in the eyes of non-believers as anything else that he might have been saying. But it was not fat women can't go to heaven. Uh, um, uh, and then it seems that this really was more about um, a, a mentally ill person, sadly, than anything else. Although this guy is horrifically anti gay, and any opportunity to point out that there are these uh, sort of, they are established, they are almost like codified homophobes. This is a priest with a following and regularly speaking to large audiences uh, about. Uh, how bad also, you know, anything LGBT related is, uh, it's still an opportunity to mention that this is going on. Um, I have to be very clear that I'm against violence like this. I'm against this priest. I'm against his ideas. I'm also against homophobia. Uh, but I don't know that we really achieve much by shoving the guy off the stage. If it was indeed just a mentally ill person who was acting in a way that was dissociated from sort of common sense and rational thinking, then that's what it was. If it was an act against the speech of the priest, I don't believe that this is how uh, those who are in favor of LGBT rights, those who are defenders of all of the things that we on the left defend. Uh, I don't think we achieve our goals with this type of action. If you disagree, though, let me know. I know there is a sliver of our audience that has more of a tendency towards using physical violence to try to achieve political goals. And I'm open to hearing from everybody. Make sure you're following me on Instagram at David Pacman. You can also follow the David Pacman show on Instagram at David Pacman show. If you love learning new things, you probably want to check this out. The David Pacman show today is sponsored by Skillshare, and we're giving you two entire months of free access to Skillshare. When you click the link underneath this video, Skillshare is a vibrant online learning community offering more than 25,000 video classes on just about anything you can think of. Get better at playing an instrument, learn to use Photoshop, how to edit videos. They have classes on drawing, painting, business, cooking, nutrition, personal productivity. And I'm not even really scratching the surface. I recently took a great class on introductory watercolor painting. Uh, I'm still not good, but I am learning and you can access the entire library of fun, easy to use online courses for free for two months by using the link underneath this video. Two months of learning something that's totally new to you, something you want to get better at, something you already love, or you can get ahead in your career by learning new skills that will help you at your job. I've gotten a ton out of it. Pat has taken some courses that he's found really valuable. 
and I think you'll love it too. Get started for free by clicking the link under this video.